All right, listen, has anyone heard of hot chili sauce? Package you can get at Wendy's called hot chili sauce. I was talking to Burger Beast, telling him I was going to do this review, um, a little mashup that maybe I'll put this video at the beginning of that video, but he's like, why don't you get some of that hot chili sauce? And I'm like, what? And he sent me a picture and I can't believe I've gone my entire life not knowing that there's packets called hot chili sauce. So I'm gonna try to order this hot chili sauce. <laughs> Here we I go. We are at Wendy's and we're about to order, well, I'm gonna order what the review's gonna be. And then I'm gonna try to get some packets of hot chili sauce you're with me let's do it all right here we go i never filmed these drive through sequences yes could i get uh one double stack you want the biggie bag or just the double stack just the double stack and can i get that with no ketchup and no mustard Um, yeah, can I get two of the ghost pepper dipping sauces? Do you guys still have the, um, the chili sauce packets? Yes. Can I get two of those, please? Yes. And that'll be it. Thank you. Why have I never heard of the chili sauce packets? I appreciate you. Thank you. you have a good day. All right, let's go. All right, check it out. Wendy's snuck back a pretty popular uh, menu item onto their menu recently. They brought back the ghost pepper ranch chicken sandwich. Uh, I reviewed that a couple years ago. I also reviewed the ghost pepper ranch sauce uh, with some nugs. Um, and I even think I put it on one of their breakfast sandwiches. I think the breakfast baconator. So they snuck it back on and I was like, hmm. How would that sauce taste on a burger? So I'm about to do one of my mashups and I was talking to Burger Beast and he mentioned this um, hot chili sauce that you can get to put on your chili. I personally have never eaten the chili over at Wendy's. So maybe that's why in my 100 years on this planet, I never knew about the sauce, but you saw the beginning and I told them I was gonna film it. And if they did have the sauce, I was gonna shout them out. So. Shout out Burger Beast, you proved me wrong. I didn't know about the sauce, but we're gonna check out, uh, maybe we'll check out the sauce, but we're also gonna check out the burger. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you shall like it or not. I could be very persuasive. All right, let's just check out the um, sauce right here. There it is, hot chili seasoning. There it is, hot chili seasoning. Light up the comments, how many of you out there knew about this? I'm gonna admit, I didn't know about it. So right here, what I ended up doing, because I had some points uh, to get me a uh, free burger, this is the um, double stack, uh, comes with ketchup and mayonnaise. I 86 those because, serviettes, because I'm going to put some of their newly brought back, their returning ghost pepper sauce and make it the ghost pepper double stack. Let's put it together. All right, so I put it together and this is what it looks like. It looks like a pretty good build for their double stack. Comes with uh, cheese and onions and pickles. And like I said, normally comes with ketchup and mayo, but I got rid of those so I can put on the, you see it right there? The ghost pepper ranch sauce. Did I show you that? Yeah, I showed you both of them. So the ghost pepper ranch sauce right there. So let's go, let's see how this works in burger form. Cause like I said, the ghost pepper ranch chicken sandwich is back out and um, we're gonna try it on the burger. Let's go. Oh, okay. Ooh, I forgot. 
if it really did bring the heat. I didn't go back and watch any of my uh, reviews from a year or two ago. Mm. I tell you, for free, for free, <laughs> this is really good. But I'm going to keep it real and let you know if it does work in burger form. There are a lot of people out there. I've been doing these mashups where I take a couple things or something from one spot and another spot and I put it together uh, to see if it works. Now, this is something you can easily do. I sometimes get those people who watch these mashups and they're like, I can't order that on the menu. Obviously you can, if I did, you just order the burger and ask for uh, one of these or two of these on the side. And if you heard, he didn't charge me for the uh, dipping sauces. He did not charge me for the um, hot uh, chili or whatever it is, the hot sauces. And uh, the burger was free because of my points. So there it is, the double stack, a really nice um, heat going along with that ranch. Second bite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The flavor of the sauce is really elevating a basic burger. That's why I always say I'm a saucy guy. I love sauces. Sometimes people give me a hard time because I'll try to sauce up some things that maybe they're like, hey, I don't think you should sauce it up. Listen. I like saucing it up, just as long as you don't overdo it and the sauce works with what you're doing. And that sauce, the uh, ghost pepper ranch, works perfectly on a burger. Gives it a nice little uh, sizzle with some ranch flavor and then some nice uh, pepper spices. So I really do enjoy this. If I had to give it a rating, which I do, huh, I'm going to give it like an 86. I enjoy it. I think I do enjoy it uh, a little bit more with um, ketchup and mayo because I would have substituted the um, ranch and got it with mayo. But that's just me personally. If I'm not in the mood for the spice, I like the uh, campfire sauce where it's mixing ketchup with the mayonnaise. So yeah, the, the uh, ghost pepper ranch double stack I think uh, is a uh, mashup success. And like I said, I was able to find out about randomly this hot chili. Maybe I'll hold on to these and do a uh, review uh, with uh, the hot chili on something. Or maybe I'll finally try the chili over at Wendy's. We'll see. And that's another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word on my channel out to the masses. In closing, the main reason I've never tried the Wendy's chili is because... Rumor or fact, they use up old hamburger from the day before, something like that. And I just don't, I, maybe I just don't trust it. I'm sorry, Wendy. I'm sorry. I know we have a history, but that's just my honest opinion. And I thank you all for joining me uh, on this um, Wendy's adventure of a returning uh, flavor that I kind of mixed up a little bit. And it was pretty darn good uh, for my lunch today. So thank you so much. And we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.